All right, hello, hello. So today we're gonna to be working on catching this Mustang. This is Winter, and uh, Winter's a new client horse, and she's super hard to catch. So we did a little lesson with her yesterday and kind of got a little introduction. I didn't get it videoed, so I'm gonna to video today. But uh, what I'm asking for, for her, I'll kind of talk as we go through it, but first off, I wanna get her attention. I want her to be attentive to me. I mean, I want like laser focus. Like I want her ear, her eyes on me. I want all of her attention on me. So first thing we do is get some attention. Then we'll start building some approach and retreat. Hopefully approach and make contact and then retreat. But we'll get started at that point. But uh, where this leads to, I mean, this is such a handy, handy tool. And it is such a pain in the butt when you when you can't catch your horse. It's just dumb when, you're, when your horse is, you know, evasive and is just kind of in caution mode. The whole time it's not that your horse doesn't want to be caught right they can't they're not cognitively thinking you know I, I just don't want to go for a ride today or i just don't want to hang out with you today no it's just the approach right the presence of you being in their presence puts them into a cautionary flee mode right they're in fight flight mode they're cautious they're in the sympathetic nervous system and so that's why they're aloof and why they're just edgy and that's that's where uh winter is you know she's all right first thing i want to do is I'm going to start asking for some attention. So right there, I just want her to, to look at me. And now what I'm going to do is just ask her to continue to look at me. Oh, see, yesterday's lesson's paying off already. Good girl. So I love that that social engagement, right? That was her walking, you know, her walking towards me was her engaging. Right there's where she stopped. So that's about where her comfort level is, is right there. So as I, as I walk in... I'm gonna start just kind of using my lead rope here as an attention getter, right? So can I just wave my arms around? I get her attention and I'm gonna release. Good, there's our first licking and chewing. So she looks away. I'm just gonna put a little, you know, whatever way she's looking, I'm gonna kind of bump her, put some pressure on that side, right? Until I get her attention back. And we're just going to repeat this over and over and over and over until she's just so focused on me and less uh, cautious, meaning that she's you know wanting to leave. So, you know, I could go in here and kind of pin her in the corner, I'm sure, and, and get a halter on her. But what that's going to lead to, if I do that every time, you know, if I have to come in and kind of do the little jig and do the dance, you know, whatever we kind of work out as our, our dance to get her caught, I will have to do that for a, probably forever. You know, at some point should soften up to it, but that will become the normal. So I can take the time and slow this down and have it be really relaxed and really calm to where she just engages and, and she catches me. And then that's how it will be forever. So if you're struggling catching your horse, you, you need to do this, right? Let's get your horse's mind attentive and relaxed, and then they're super easy to catch. I just want to start shortening this up. So we've got attention, right? Our lesson yesterday stuck very nicely because. I want to get her mentally talked into that, you know, staying in the center and holding still is where the release is. And so every time she goes to leave, you get distracted. I'm just going to counter that. Come in. Get her stopped from leaving. Attentive. And then release. So this is going to you know, create her to be, you know, the easiest Mustang on the planet to catch is, is what I want to have. Because when your horse is hard to catch, I mean, that is just frustrating beyond all measure. Because you're, you know, especially if you're out with your friends or you got them in a corral or, you know, somewhere and you're trying to get your horse caught and you just can't get them caught. It's just so dang frustrating. And, and that just sets off your, you know, your whole ride is off on the wrong note if both of you are frustrated getting getting together and so this is just building our relationship we're just establishing communication we're 
What are the rules? What are the boundaries of our relationship? And so right now, you know, one of the rules is I'm asking for absolute attention. I need all of her attention here with me. One of the boundaries, if she goes to leave, she's going to hear from me. I'm going to turn up my communication and establish a boundary of, of you know, not leaving. And when she comes back to me, I'll release. And that's where our relationship is going to feel good is when we're, we're balanced with each other. So she's leaving. I say no. I get her back. She says, I still think I want to leave. Get her back. Get her in the middle. Attentive, right? Meaning I just want her eyes on me. How close can I get? Probably about right there. And I'm going to release. And so each time I do this, you know, I want it to build a little bit of confidence, you know, every time, approach, retreat, that she can handle more and more of this upregulation or that she can handle this pressure, me walking in, hands out, moving my arms, right? All of that is, is pressure. And I'm just wanting to build her ability to manage these stresses, the stimulus of sight and sound. We haven't got to touch yet. Let me get her back in the middle and release. I love how she didn't back up. Or, right, she's kind of getting her feet more relaxed, holding still. You know, if their feet aren't holding still, their brain isn't holding still. So you get their, you get their autonomic system relaxed, everything else is going to relax. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just engaging in her autonomic system to get it down regulated, to relax. We're engaging this polyvagal nerve system that runs everything. And we're, we're wanting to stimulate that, that nerve complex into the parasympathetic or into this homeostasis, this relaxing. Here we go. I'm gonna bump this side. Good girl, how close can I get? Right about there, maybe more. Good girl. No, nope, that was a little too much, so we're gonna get her attention back and release. Good girl. I mean she's pretty obvious when she when she feels my release. I mean watch her head her her head and neck is kind of the barometer here or the gauge that is you know displaying her level of of caution or 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 calmness or relaxing so as i approach right her head goes up thinking about leaving and then i can kind of get this dynamic pressure right here in the middle right this is right where i want her how much can i apply this pressure and then watch this release right like i'm all done and we we'll just let her put her head down so this is her learning how to regulate her autonomic system. We're upregulating when I walk in, right? Her heart rate's increasing, her respiratory's increasing. You know, she's preparing herself for fight flight. And then as I release and come out, she's downregulating. Her heart rate slows down, her breathing gets deeper, her head lowers, right? She licks and chews, she gets this dopamine and serotonin release, which is reinforcing to her that this downregulation feels good that this downregulation is the, the safe option. It feels better to downregulate than to upregulate. But Mother Nature's laws say upregulation solves everything for a wild horse. So we gotta, we're just transitioning that into a complete 180. Instead of, you know, fight flight solving everything, we want rest and relax to solve everything. Good oh, girl. Kind of turn some of this off here a little bit. <laughs> See what she did? She's like, I'm done with that. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. That's all right. We can still play this. There we go. So look, I love on this release. I mean, this is the whole, you know, the whole uh, concept of this science-based horsemanship is as soon as that release is there, you know, relax. She's going right into that relax mode. And eventually over time, you know, we, we keep setting this up in the whole training all the way up through, you know, riding is that 
she will become to where she can self-regulate, meaning she won't need the release. She'll be able to just down-regulate as soon as she feels you know, some stress, some pressure. She'll just down-regulate herself and just take care of it herself. I love this head down like this. I mean, she is being as, um, you know, I don't want to say submissive, but just, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's a word, but you know, she's just down, meaning she's not got her head up looking around going, how do I get out of here? She's got her head down going, man, I want to hit the pause button. What the hell's happening? Well, I'm thinking we're going to leave it right here. I kind of feel like I'm pushed past the kind of the threshold of, of making some decent progress. We're, we're in, but, you know, I think we'll just give her a break. We've been probably, I think, almost two hours-ish or maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45. But uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to leave that. We got some good progress. We got in.